Hi guys, welcome to my next video. Here today I will discuss with you uh, get opts function of uh, in bash. This is usually used uh, in uh, parsing the parameters when you uh, specify options. For example, you know like ls minus l, then you can give the file name like for example test.sh. So this minus l is considered to be an uh, uh, option and uh, this is the parameter so then it will display so suppose if you want to if you're writing your own script and if you want to implement uh, similar options then you can use get ops so i have created a test file to show you the uh, get ops functionality so let's start so as you can see here here uh, I've created a small uh, script. Basically, this is a uh, uh, self-explanatory. It displays the usage, and here is a get ops function. Usually, get ops function is uh, used along with the while uh, loop, so that you can specify a while and a case statement case is uh, similar to switch statements in uh, C programming <coughs> so what you can do here is this is a syntax get tops and then you can specify the parameters here a B and C you need to note down here is let me quickly write here if you specify specify colon after uh, an option then it it means that it requires it requires an op a parameter after an option so for example uh, you can't specify just a uh, uh, minus a what you need to do is uh, minus a then followed by uh, a parameter name so when I run the program, I will uh, demonstrate that to you. And if the if the option does not end with the colon, then it means that uh, it does not require any parameters. So the syntax is get tops, and then the single character. Note that get tops uh, do not take a, a string or a multiple characters. It only relies on single character. Okay, and uh, and followed by colon. If we specify colon. It means that uh, mm, that particular option takes uh, extra uh, 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 argument along with it. And if you do not specify colon, it uh, do not require any parameter. So let me sh quickly run that program. So if I run test.sh, and if I run, if I, uh, let me run with uh, some minus x because x don't contain so it should display me the usage yeah as it says it's invalid argument and it's displaying me the usage statement which we specified so now just whatever if i specify just minus a it should give me an error because we have specified a colon there as it says option requires an argument so I need to specify some argument here for example a now it says minus a is triggered as we expected and uh, similarly even with for minus b we have specified a, a colon so let me run without the colon so again it says option request an argument so let me say some string now it says minus b is triggered <coughs> and uh, third option as you can see there's a minus c here if i just enter here now it says minus c is triggered because it do not contain a colon in the program so it says minus c is triggered suppose if i specify some argument it says <coughs> why it takes that argument is because I'll explain you because we have used opt-in 
minus 1. So this is uh, very essential because you can specify after this all the parameters you can specify the file name or any other uh, other arguments you want to specify to the function uh, or the our script. So that's why optint minus 1 is used. So optint is basically a shell variable which is used to basically uh, to shift the positional parameters of the shell script. So maybe you can uh, Google a bit more about this optint minus uh, uh, one and uh, you will get your information. So basically which is uh, used to shift the parameters. <clears throat> For example, here I can specify like uh, minus C SSS and then minus C. So it still works. So it do not have to be any in particular order. <clears throat> so uh, just one, there's one more interesting thing in the uh, shell variable. That's called opt arg shell variable. Okay. Let me quickly show, print that variable here. What it does is, is basically just displays the option. It ignores the uh, option and it plays the argument. Let me quickly show you. So now if I click, uh, if I press enter, now it should display me only this variable that is uh, optarg. It considers to be the argument for particular option that is called optarg. So as you can see, this displays the argument. So that is a shell built-in variable, which is uh, available in uh, Unix, so which you can use. So uh, it's quite interesting uh, if you want to simulate some kind of uh, uh, systematic uh, bash scripts where you can specify the number of parameters and then uh, you can simulate like uh, how the shell, uh, how the actual Unix commands work. And if you want to simulate something like that in your script, then you can use uh, getops and it uh, becomes very handful, handy to use. Okay, hope uh, you learned something new. Uh, I'll come up with uh, more videos in my, uh, in my next videos and I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and please like and subscribe and share with others. Thank you.